It may end up being temporary, but for now, one of the biggest names in world football, Diego Maradona, has been completely removed from FIFA 22, and it's all due to a legal dispute which has been going on for some time now. The case was first reported back in November 2021, with Maradona's former manager Stefano Cicci unable to prove he had the legal rights over the footballer's likeness. Due to this, even though he signed the documents with EA to allow Maradona to appear in the game, he never actually had the power to do so. It has been reported by Eurogamer.com that Maradona's assets are actually owned by Matthias Mola, who apparently got the rights in August 2020, though it all sounds like a very messy legal battle over who owns the rights to Maradona's assets, especially given Mola was previously banned from using the footballer's brands by two of Maradona's daughters. When you boot the game and load into it now, you're met with a message informing you Maradona has been removed. The message reads, due to a third-party legal dispute, we must suspend Diego Maradona from appearing in FIFA Ultimate Team Packs, Ultimate Draft and the Soccer Aid World Eleven team. It's worth noting that at the time of writing, Maradona can actually still be used in the Soccer Aid team if you don't allow the game to download the latest squad updates. As for how long this will be the case, nobody knows, and it could be that EA Sports patches the game further to stop this from being the case. The message continues saying, as such, Diego Maradona icon items will no longer be made available in packs, SBCs and FUT draft, and their price range has been fixed until further notice. We share our fans' disappointment and hope to bring one of football's greatest icons back in the game at some point in the future. In Ultimate Team, there are currently three different versions of Maradona, ranging in price from a million coins to upwards of 7 to 9 million. It's unclear if this is his fixed price range or not, because he's an incredible icon to pack and would be one of the highest value cards around regardless. For more on FIFA 22 and for what's new and what's next, head to NME.com. Yeah.